Well, the woods smell really good this morning. It just stopped raining about an hour ago. As you can see, there's plenty of water flowing down the old road here as we head up to the old farm. Thanks for joining me on another metal detecting, not Thursday, in New Hampshire. I'm heading up to one of the farms that we've had access to for years to metal detect. And I actually haven't been to a lot of these sections in many years. I just figured today's a good day, so we're almost there. And I always like to start out my videos a little bit before we get on ground. Because it's all about being out in the woods here. I love to catch the conditions. I mean, it's beautiful. It's early winter in my timeline. Pretty much the end of the year. I'm fortunate to be out here with no snow on the ground. It's coming now. It's all about the woods. It's all about the history. Just all about being out here. So hopefully today we'll find something cool. Find something old. This is a typical 1700 site. I think these people left in 18... 50s, I think. I remember correctly so anything's possible see even something like this is cool to show you guys especially if you're not from New England that is what's left of a brick in the road I mean that has been tumbled for so long it's actually almost round pretty wild huh actually I'll put you on the sideline and I'm still four or five hundred feet from where the house sat so that's a long way down the road all right well we have landed and I'm choosing the back side of where the house sat because out of the last few trips, way back when, that I can remember, this is the side that I was on the least. So, let's dig. Well, that's a bright one to start with. As usual, I dig everything and show you everything. Impacted lead. I like 7071. <laughs> kind of a mystery area. Beautiful. Look at that. After all these years return trip, I have me a beautiful harmonica reed. Very cool. Another number in the 70s. I have a major root denial here. Good, I threw it out. I didn't have to get under the root, just beside it. Sorry. Mission accomplished. Beautiful button with shankage. Wow. This is great. Glad I came back. So, that looks early 1800s. Yeah. Another good signal. That's 
it's not a casing. Definitely a thing. Oh, six or seven inches deep. The classic definitely part of a larger thing before it was small as it is now a piece. It's old. That's cool. We'll take it. Flashing. Flashing about 200 feet from the house. If you wonder what flashing is, it's basically what they use for patchwork around chimneys and corners and anywhere maybe that they didn't want water to get in. And as you can imagine, even a couple hundred feet, New England winters, weather, I don't think they were plowing in here, but that stuff just gets scattered all over. A week. That is actually a bullet. Tell by the end of it, it's all smeared, nailing something. Wow. High numbers, but loud. Copper plated. That makes sense. Ooh, we like numbers like that. Yeah. Oh, Route Central again. It's a large copper. Yes. That's Lady Liberty. Beautiful. Well, there's some detail on the back. And so we know it's a US large scent. I don't know if that's a late 1700s, like a, you know, 97 or something. Obviously, I'll show you guys pictures after the fact, but that is fantastic. Yeah. Gotta love it. So, like I said, last couple times up here that I can remember, I didn't, uh, I didn't really come over here. I went over by the barn and such. So... It's almost like having a new place to detect after all these years. And there's still goodies. Beautiful. Lead again. Bud. Lead again. Nail. It sounded better than a nail. Huh. Oh. Well, I'd say eight inches deep. It's uh, a pocket knife. Very cool, at least the midsection. No scales or anything. Wow, talk about just catching that. Never fails with the roots. It literally goes right across the plug. Beautiful. Look at the size of that musket ball. And it looks like it actually made contact. So it was fired. Awesome. Very awesome.
Well, that's interesting. And I don't know if it's old. Because obviously with loggers and other people through the years, I don't know. But that's uh, a chunk of leather. Uh, essentially attacking it. Interesting at the least. Well, I think that's it for this dig. And surprisingly, I did very well. All considering that I only worked for this area behind the house, like I said. It's maybe an acre. And after all these years, still found some cool things. Which is why I keep going back to my old sites. I actually did pretty good this past season with doing that. And I just like being up here. All right, everybody. Get out and go back to your old spots. I'll see you soon. And enjoy your not Thursday.